Two silviculture workers were slashing brush along a transmission line's right of way. One would die attempting to fall a tree. Low brush covered most of the work area, but there was also a small clump of trees in a gully within the right of way. The clump of trees didn't need to be removed, since it wasn't considered to be a hazard to the transmission lines. Because of this, the trees weren't shown in the project maps for the area, nor did the work plan state whether they were to be left standing or removed. Worker one, on his own, would decide to fall the trees. Many of the trees were greater than 15 centimeters or six inches in diameter at stump height. This is significant because falling trees greater than six inches in diameter must be done by a certified faller. To fall trees, fallers make an undercut and then a back cut parallel to and above the top cut. This creates a hinge that helps control the tree's fall. As a tree begins to fall, the faller moves to a safe location along a previously cleared escape route. At the site, although not a certified faller and therefore not qualified to do so, Worker 1 felled trees as large as 23 inches in diameter. He also felled some 9 and 10 inch diameter trees using straight through sloping cuts. Cuts like this are dangerous as they can cause loss of directional control of the falling tree. Worker 1 would attempt to fall what would be his last tree, an alder that was 16 inches in diameter. Alders are prone to barber chair or split vertically up the trunk when they fall. Worker 1 made three shallow angled cuts into the alder. The overcutting increased the chances of the trunk splitting as the tree fell. With no escape route, Worker 1 performed the back cut. The alder barber chaired, kicked back, and then fell onto the worker. Worker 2 discovered Worker 1 under the fallen alder. Attempts to resuscitate Worker 1 failed. One, the information was inadequate. The failure to note the clump of trees in the documentation and maps prevented effective planning of the project, including potentially eliminating the hazard of falling trees that didn't need to be cut down. In the absence of information, Worker 1 arrived at his own conclusion that the trees required falling. Two, the falling of timber was unsafe. Worker 1 was not qualified to fall trees greater than 6 inches in diameter. His incorrect cuts into the alder led it to barber chair. 3. There was no escape route. The ground was covered in debris and behind Worker 1 lay a steep bank. 4. The hazard review of the site was inadequate. Neither a walkthrough by the principal nor the review of an aerial video of the site identified all the potential hazards. Employers, identify and address all site hazards and inform workers doing slashing work which tree should be left standing and which must be removed. Workers, falling trees is one of the most dangerous tasks. Take caution, don't overestimate your abilities and only fall trees you are qualified to fall. <laughs>